How to add cookie consent banner to Google site. The first thing you want to do is open a new tab and you are going to go onto elfsite.com and this is going to be the platform that we'll be using to add our cookie consent banner or button. You can use this platform for completely free. All you'll need to do is hover over widgets in the top left hand corner. Then from there you're going to select cookie consent. After you have done that you're going to scroll down and you will now be able to edit the widget. So at the moment you can see the different templates from the left hand menu option right there. So you can choose to either add a top banner as you can see there, a floating box or you can scroll down and you can select the center floating box. You can select a left floating box. You can select whichever one of these options suit you. So you can see you can also add it to the bottom of the page as you can see right there. So let's say I would like to use this option. Then I'm going to tap on continue with this template. After you have tapped on continue with this template, you can see compliance type. Just tell users that you use cookies. Ask users to opt in to cookies. You can select whichever one of these options you want and you can see the example right there. You can also choose the language. You can go over to the left hand menu option. You could change the layout again if you want. You can also change the style and color. So if you'd like to change the background color and text, you could do that. Once you're finished, you're going to tap on add to website in the bottom left hand corner. After you have done that, you'll be redirected to a new page. On this new page, you can see right here, you could edit the message by tapping on message. So you can see the message right there. If you would like to edit it, you can. You can also edit the policies, the buttons and the cookie icon if you want. Once you're finished, you're going to tap on publish in the top right hand corner. After doing that, you'll be led to this page and we're going to tap on select below the free plan. After you have done that, you're going to simply tap where you see copy code. So you're going to copy the code right there. After you have copied the code, you're going to go back into Google Sites. And on your website, you're going to go over to the left hand menu option and you're going to select embed code. So let's do that real quick. So we'll select embed code right here. Then you're going to tap on embed code. And you'll simply paste in the code right here, then tap on next. After you have done that, you'll see an example of how it looks. Then you'll tap on insert. Now, once on Google Sites, if you were like me and you selected it to be added in the footer section, all you'll need to do is scroll down. Then you're going to tap on add footer. After you have done that, you're going to go over to the right hand menu option, select embed. Then you'll select embed code and you're going to paste in the code right here. Then you'll tap on next. Then after tapping on next, you're going to tap on insert. So let's do that real quick. Once it has been inserted in the footer section, as you can see right here. So this is it. All you'll need to do now, we are going to simply edit the box or the size then we can drag and place it in the footer section so let's do that real quick so we'll simply scroll back up a bit this is the footer section right here and we're going to simply drag and place it right there after you have done that you can edit the size so at the moment you can see how it looks right here you can edit the size by simply selecting the box then from there you can edit the size by simply pulling along the side right here and you can change the size. And that's it. Hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe.